What's up, everybody? Uh, this is Zelda Pro, and I'm here with Supreme King Zach, and we are joined with Michael. Uh, yeah, you might know him as uh, Rudes. Rudes Reboot. Yeah. That's my channel name. I am just Rudes. And uh, we just got done watching Detective Pikachu. We're a little late watching it. Yeah, but uh, uh, we're gonna it, it gave our... everybody else a chance to go see it. Yeah. So, and now we're gonna give our little little review on it. All right. First off, uh, on a scale of one to ten. Uh, Tim, what would you say you would... Okay, rate? so yeah, we'll just go in a circle here. Yeah. Um, so... And, and, and then tell us this why. Is, this is really hard, um, because there were aspects of the movie that I loved a whole lot. And then there were, but my ranking would go down because some of the acting is kind of not that great. Yeah. <laughs> Especially towards the beginning. The very we, beginning we had... To, we can go into that in a second, yeah. though. Uh, out of ten, though... Minus the acting and stuff, I, I would probably, I'd probably give it like an eight. Wow. I really enjoyed it. Okay. Uh, but we'll go further into details in a second. Uh, what about you? Uh, honestly, probably a seven, seven and a half out of ten. Okay. Okay. What about what? you? Yeah. Um, so this depends on whether or not you're asking me as a Pokemon fan or if you're asking me as someone who's never heard of Pokemon before. Uh, That's neither. Both. I don't know. Both. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say both. If I had never heard of Pokemon before, never done any of the games, I would have given it a solid six. It was a good movie because, you know, uh, it just was. As a Pokemon fan, though, I'm going to go with an eight. It was really nice. Alright. Uh, so, see, I, I'm i not a super huge Pokemon fan. As, that's you know, true. Me, as I, me, you, and Logan have discussed multiple occasions, yeah. I, I've had a hard time staying oh, with the series because oh, the, I just... The thing is, you might not like the games, but I feel like you enjoy the characters. I really in Pokemon. You too. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're going to be talking about spoilers in this. So yes. if you haven't seen spoiler, it and you don't want to go and just hear the spoilers. spoilers. Yeah. Okay, Mewtwo. Mewtwo yes. is my absolute freaking favorite Pokemon of all time, and he was a big part of the movie, and it just made me so happy. I had so many, so many happiness. Uh, uh, Feelings, uh, emotions, everything. <laughs> any kind of happy, everything was expressed through this movie because uh -huh. of Mewtwo. I, I think the Pokemon in this movie looked fantastic. It started with Mewtwo. He <laughs> just the first Pokemon <laughs> you see, and I was so happy. Yeah. yeah there was that Pancham. The Panchams so were adorable. Those are so. They're so cute. cute. Yeah, the Pokemon oh gosh. looked very good. I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't show that many because if you if you looked at them all, they showed a lot of repeats. growl. Yeah, a lot of repeats. There was probably about like ten or so Pokemon that they just kind of had on repeat. Yeah. So that true. that was a little bit disappointing uh, since there's like eight hundred Pokemon that they could have done. There were a lot of hidden well, ones in the background though. Like kind of. Every once in a while, we'd point some out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are a lot. And of the other thing is though, how many Pokemon can you? logistically put in a live action movie. That that is true. Because yeah. there are I mean, CGI and joke. Because uh, I mean think about it. But it's like any place you had a Trico, you could have put a Mudkip instead. Because there were no there was yeah. like there were like twenty Tricos in the entire movie. Yeah. There were like, <laughs> and the yeah, first I one was really Mudkip, cool. man. Give me my Mudkip. And it's I like bet Mudkip was in there somewhere. I don't know. I, I've maybe. seen millions upon millions of YouTubers and none of them have mentioned Mudkip yet. Oh. But uh yeah, I do wish there was a little bit more of uh, diversity in it, but they was they still looked really good. And the yeah. thing is, I'm so glad they didn't take the Sonic movie approach to make it like too Hyper realistic. Hyper realistic. Because yeah. they took the exact, they just took the Pokemon models and just put more like a little bit more detail. Yeah, into yeah. The, like to textures and stuff. Yeah. And you know what? As even though they looked realistic, they didn't entirely look realistic. But that yeah. was okay. Yeah. It was like, it was like a better. It's like Space Jam, how, you know, you can tell... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're but, clearly cartoons. But they're better. But, yeah. yeah. More realistic. And it was perfect. I, th I agree. I think Sonic really could good. do that, that would be so nice. Mm -hmm. uh, but Sonic can't, because they just want to be like every other, you know... Yeah, frick Paramount. <laughs> Paramount. <laughs> but, um, hey, Paramount, if you're listening to this, frick you! Okay. Okay. Uh, so, so the like characters... Yes, yeah, so let's uh, talk about... Uh, uh, we'll start uh, with Tim. Let's Tim? Talk with Tim. Okay. I'm pretty cool, but let's talk about the one in the movie. Tim was okay. He got, he definitely got better as it went on. His but, acting. 
his bad his bad acting bad. especially at the very beginning was bad. garbage. Oh, I have bad. five messages on my phone that I have not looked at. I, I felt like that was something we would do on yeah, this channel. It I looked like, like a purple acting. coin video to be honest. It was our <laughs> acting. So, but um, it definitely got better. Yeah. Uh, Especially when he got emotional, like in the middle there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About his dad, like I don't know, I was starting to tear up a little bit, and I was yeah. like, "Oh, that this was... character can make me feel things." Uh huh. Yeah. So he definitely got better, I would say. Uh, Lucy, I didn't really like Lucy. Uh, I don't know if that was just me she or. Was a, she was a nod to Misty, with the red hair and the side dog. And I, pit, I pieced that together. They referenced different characters, but didn't directly use them. Yeah. But she's just kind of, I don't know, it's like, I wish you had just done an actual mistake, you know? What was her name again? Lucy. Lucy. I, yeah, she's really forgettable. Yeah, like I that. didn't. Exactly, yeah, see, you I forgot didn't, her. I didn't yeah. really, like, I didn't care for her that much. She just felt like an add-in. just so the Exactly. Other, so there could be another human character. Yeah, uh, that's how I felt about her. Because, like, she was kind of there, but she didn't really amount to anything. It's she was just there for Ryan Reynolds to bounce jokes off of, basically. Kind of. I mean... Psyduck was great. Psyduck <laughs> was awesome. I did enjoy Psyduck. There was... Okay, and then they, they were, like, taking him into the into the factory, like, where Mewtwo was made, or was captured, and we, yeah. we were... Like, I remember turning to Zach and being like, uh, if they don't want the Psyduck to explode, they should not be taking him in yeah. here. Uh... Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu was great. It's perfect. I, I thought it was so it's well so done. Uh, I felt like when I first saw the trailer, it threw me off a little bit that a Pikachu had a like a man's voice. Yeah. But it just worked, especially since it you know it matches up with how the movie's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, uh, I'm really glad that Ryan Reynolds was uh, Tim's dad at the end. Yes, Tim Ryan Reynolds was else. actually Tim's dad. It was so good. Yeah. Zach turned to me and was like, "Dude, imagine getting to actually hug Ryan Reynolds." <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, if you're listening to this, uh... Come hug us. Come hug us. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... There were also some pretty good jokes in this movie. Yeah, I, it was actually a, funnier than I thought it would be. Yes. Oh my gosh, Mr. Mime flip and die. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mime die. <laughs> no, yeah, imaginarily, of course. Imaginarily died. But does that mean he died for real? I don't think so. Because of... Well, does, it, no, they were just acting. It's okay. And then there was this other... I remember towards the beginning, uh, Zach Beast, who talks to him, and he says, Oh, this is the first time I've ever invited someone over to my apartment. I'm not that kind of Pokemon. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Wait, that but, was good. There, so there are that kind of Pokemon? Oh. <laughs> but there were some mature jokes in it, so yeah. that was something for <laughs> was, the yeah, older... That, that was something I really appreciate about this movie. Is it did not just cater to Pokemon yes. fans. It did not just cater to kids. It was, it was an adult everything. movie that anyone could go in and watch. Mm -hmm. It was so good. It was really yeah. good. So, I, the way they the, executed it. There were the occasional jokes that only a Pokemon fan will get, like uh, Sweet Mother Arceus. Yeah. 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 Only, only me and Zach get that. Oh, and the thing about the, the Cubone. Uh, oh, yeah. the Cubone's mother. because mom. Yeah. <laughs> so, there, there are course a few jokes in there but not enough to where any non-pokemon yeah. fan would really I'd be turned say off if you by are a it. pokemon fan who knows stuff you will appreciate oh the movie you will appreciate this movie just based on the pokemon yeah, yeah. because it's so pretty yeah there's but, also like even though we mentioned there's not a lot of like there's a lot of duplicate pokemon there are a bunch like in the background so if you're just looking you will find them and be like oh oh yeah oh also, Greninja standing up like a human is one of the weirdest oh, things Oh, it's, it's pretty <laughs> odd. It's, uh, and and then it, it using its tongue to trash. Yeah, that, that was weird. I was like... Uh, oh, lick a tongue lick on the Lick a tongue boss. on the boss. <laughs> so when you just slowly licked him, that was funny. That was hilarious. I love that. Yeah. Uh, I gotta say, I haven't seen a lot of video game movies, most, mostly because they all suck. Yes. Uh, but this I one was, just blew it out. Yeah. Blew any of them out. Yeah. This one was pretty well done this was a good movie it wasn't it wasn't a video game ad adaptation movie well because they're all bad so this one well detective pikachu was a game that's it was. True. so and also if you played the game you already know a yeah you already movie. know the movie i'm is the story the same it's not uh, exactly no it's similar like detective pikachu being his dad yeah that's the uh, same uh and then they're, they're, we're not going to spoil the game for you guys. Uh, go play the game if you want. 
it, it is different it's than the movie. Yeah, I didn't see anything about the game. The main villains are different. Really yeah, the villains are different and stuff like that. How did, you, how did you guys feel about the villains? Oh, okay, so yeah, for that plot twist. Um, I was kind of expecting a plot twist. I just didn't know what that plot twist was going to end up being. Mm-hmm. And so it, when, when it happened, when you find out that, uh, what's his name, Harold? Harry. Harry. Yeah, when you found out Harry was the bad guy all along, like, it didn't t- catch me by surprise, but, like, like, it, I don't know. It didn't catch me by surprise, but at the same time, I was, I didn't expect it entirely either. Yeah. I don't know. The problem is, they did two twists. First, you think it's Harry's son, and then, like, Mewtwo appears to be the yeah, villain for his time, Mewtwo. and, uh, then it's the new guy. I'm like, why did you not space that out? Well, like, all oh, that happened in 20 minutes. Yeah, it, it did so happen. Short. The yeah. twist did happen now, really fast. The problem, the only problem I have with this movie is it's fast. It's yes. Really this fast. movie is very fast. Which, I mean, it just flies by. Which is one of the reasons why I gave it a little bit of a lower score. Yeah. It was because not a whole lot actually happened in the movie. Yeah. Whenever you watch it, it seems like there's a lot going on. But in actuality, there's not. There's not. Yeah, that 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 is true. But the thing is, it is a fun time all the way through. Yes. Yeah. Even though not a lot is happening, it is a, fun. it is an absolute. Blast. I agree. It is a fun movie that you can go see. I mean, that movie, that movie gave me some good belly laughs. That was great. Yeah. I I very much enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys have not seen it, I would definitely recommend watching it. Even yes. if you're not a Pokemon. Even fan. if you're not a Pokemon. It is fan. a very enjoyable. movie. Because again, not there's not really a lot of references to Pokemon. I mean, sure they're, they they say so. Or like you don't you don't have to get Pokemon to get this. Movie. Yes, because it's like, oh, even though you don't know that Greninja is using Water Shuriken, that doesn't matter. He's throwing out an attack. You understand enough yeah, to realize you understand that. Understand that that what Greninja's doing to you is not a good it's thing. It's not a good thing. <laughs> Also, giant torteras. Giant oh torteras. That was that was cool. I want one so bad. No, you don't. Yes. Not that, that, not, was, not that big. Not that big. Yes, because in uh, when I played through platinum, that was my starter. <laughs> so I'm like, I want him to be huge now because that's how I always envisioned my torterra. All being of, able to wreck Cynthia's Garchomp. That I think that was a scene that I wasn't a huge fan of, to be honest. I liked the huge Torterra thing, but I didn't like how. Oh no! It's all on the back of Torterra because I feel like I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of silly. Yeah, it, oh, really? And it wasn't. They didn't do it for very long. Like the yeah. Torterra got up. <laughs> yeah, and they they got just down. stood up and then went back down. Yeah, that which was is a, yeah, that, that's another thing. Of, they like, didn't even do waste. anything. Yeah, that that's was just waste. like the. That's just like the what we said earlier like how the movie doesn't do much yeah, yeah. but it's exciting all the way through mm-hmm. like that's how it was it's a five minute scene of them trying try not to get, get caught in a landslide while a Torterra is rising up from the ground yeah like I wanted them to do something with the Torterra I mean come on that is so much potential you have a living mountain on your hands why did you not use it I have expected <laughs> the giant Torterras to start heading towards the city and they were going to have to stop the Torterras well, that, yes. yeah that could have happened and but it then, didn't yeah it didn't happen and then but Pikachu wouldn't have been able to do anything I want to know what they ended types. up doing with the Torterras did they just leave them there that's a good question did hikers go up there one day and we're like oh landslide oh it's a Tortera oh I'm dead that's a good question because they're just get kind of there week. now. Did Mewtwo go and fix that too? I don't know. I don't think Mewtwo has the power. Oh, to apparently control. Mewtwo also has the power to uh, move, souls. <laughs> move souls from yeah. people into Pokemon and from take the souls out of the Pokemon and make them people again. Yeah, that, that was, was kind of weird. Totally. Yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't understand that completely, but it's, I mean, yeah. it's okay. I guess the, there like, were there were a few like plot issues where it's like that doesn't make sense why are they doing that or yeah or it's like why why does this happen why does this make sense uh which is why i can't give it a perfect score uh but just because i had such a great time is why i'm gonna give it an eight yeah Yeah. i I would not give it higher than that yeah Yeah. all right so that's gonna wrap up our detective pikachu uh wait wait. what one last thing one One last last thing thing. okay what do you think this means for the future of pokemon well, they've already said that they're going to start working on a sequel for Detective Pikachu. Are they really? I think so. 
Oh, that so, could be different. I don't know if it's going to actually be Detective Pikachu or if it's just going to be another live-action Pokemon movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, I would love an actual live-action live Pokemon movie. That would be Like really a cool. trainer going to gyms and stuff like that. Yes. That would be, that'd be really cool. so cool. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. and like, then as for the whole... games, I don't think this is going to change anything This won't affect the games. the games at all. Yeah, I'm I not... I think this is going to open up a new PCU. I like the MCU. Oh, Pokemon Cinematic Universe. I, that'd be interesting. I would, I would be, be really okay cool. with that. I don't know. I don't know I if it'd be as expansive as something like yeah, that. Yeah, probably MCU, not, but it be, that would be interesting. It won't be MCU level, but it'll, I mean, it'll still be good. Yeah. Again, I would like it if they actually had a trainer. Or even if, I, Tim, you probably don't know about but Pokemon Rangers. Yes. That would be so oh, cool please, to have yes. a movie of just Pokemon Rangers. I do know what you're talking about. I just, I haven't. Okay. Done yeah. It, that would be They're so, so cool, fun. and that would be uh, an awesome idea. But yeah. Anyway, that that was our uh, view on Detective Pikachu. Definitely yeah. think you guys should go check it out go if you have not seen it, it already. So go 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 yeah. go watch it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. To and we'll Purple see you guys Coin. next time. Bye. Bye.